So what I did is I downloaded this version here of this case. It's an earbuds case. I downloaded it off a of Thingiverse. And uh, when you print it, this overhang here requires supports or it gets really nasty. So what I did was I kind of chopped it up and took some pieces and made it like this. So now there's no overhang there and I don't see any reason why it won't work on the case. So this is the part right here. I'm sorry, that's the whole part. My camera's drifting. And what I'm doing is I'm going to cut it down by putting a block on here. And I'm going to just make a small piece. I'm going to actually test it. I have this piece printed. The receiver here is printed. So I'm going to just test this. So I'm going to join these two pieces. I'm going to export this. So here my part is on Slicer. I've got it set for ColorFab XT, which is what we're going to print it on. So you get a chance to see ColorFab XT printing on the Prusa Mark III with uh, nothing on the bed or anything holding it. Let's go to the printer and do it. So we're printing our little earbud case part that I showed you how I uh, modified in Tinkercad and we're printing it in ColorFab XT. We have nothing on the bed, it's just the PEI sheet that came with the Prusa Mark III and stock ColorFab XT there's nothing on the uh, print surface. I use the stock settings in Slicer, which sets it for 260 filament and 90 degrees on the bed. And I'm just going to let it run. We'll put some music on and you can watch the thing being created. Maybe I'll lower the, uh, lower the camera here a little bit. So maybe you can get a better view of how the thing is made. Okay, and we'll see you at the very end. So, well, my camera's battery discharged while that was half printed. So uh, here we are at the end. We're going to zoom in here. And I don't know if you can see it, but the part has some stringing. It's got some stringing, but let's see how it comes off the board. A little flexing action. Now this is not completely cooled down, but pretty much so. It really should cool all the way. Comes right off. And just to give you an example of how cool this is, here's our little Scotty's, uh, our little Scotty's label peeler. That takes this stuff off pretty good. Takes this off real good. Damn it, doesn't damage PEI. And here's the part. So we do have some stringing. What I'll do there is I'll probably just use a heat gun and just blow that off. But that's how the part looks. It printed this way. Got real good. Not sure about the stringing. Maybe I should change the settings. But I use the stock settings on Slicer that are set up in Slicer uh, P for the Prusa. Okay? So that's the printing, and uh, thanks for watching. Hit that like button, please.